Hi. A, I'm Dr. Romero. We've got a big team coming in here. Okay. A lot of people want to talk to you. No problem. Okay. So you're 40 years old, is that yes. correct? Um, do you have children? No children. Okay. Any plans to have children? Mm, not me. Not. No. <laughs> okay. Um, and prior, I know we've asked you this already, but prior to the July episode, yeah. never had anything that you were like numbness, not working, like numbness in my arms or legs or maybe when i wake up and it goes away and I'm back okay. To life. Yeah. okay how about bowel bladder sexual dysfunction mm, no, no okay you don't wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom i do recently okay yeah, yeah. um since when i think the past year maybe two years One but two not years. often yeah okay and um and how often in a week would you wake up at night to go to the bathroom one to two times a okay. week yeah all right um, and then how about any infections, any bladder infections or anything like that? No, none. Okay. Um, and then I heard that you were working, but then now, um, because of COVID and everything. It could be, uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, I do think you have multiple sclerosis. Okay. You have relapsing MS. Okay. okay. We were just going over kind of the definitions and looking through your scans. Okay. Um, so, do you know what MS is? Multiple sclerosis? Yeah. Uh, I know I have a relative. From the words from my mom, she was saying she had, she's not able to walk certain times and yeah. the past 20 years, I think, is what Yeah, it was. and do you know, like if someone were to ask you, I know we have a lot of people in there putting pressure on you, but uh, what, what is MS? MS is where you lose your balance walking, yeah. um, to my knowledge. I, that's all I can say about my mom's cousin. Okay, so um, MS okay. itself is like... We kind of just say it's an autoimmune disease. Your autoimmune body, disease. your white blood cells that are floating around in your blood, um, for some reason were triggered to start attacking your brain and spinal cord, mm -hmm. causing the problems that you have. Okay. And I think you've probably, when you talked about the bladder changes, I think that I agree with one to two years ago. Okay. It's probably when everything started. Yeah. Um, there are very subtle changes that can happen. <clears throat> okay. Um, and do you know who the typical patient is in MS? Like who, is it... Let me just say this, but you're not the typical patient that, that if you look in the literature, that we tell our medical students this person has MS, yeah. okay? It's typically, we think of MS as, as a Caucasian person's disease. Okay. But we know that's not the case, yeah. very much so now. Okay. Do you know what your background is, ethnicity-wise? Um, Mexican-American, born in California, Okay. traveled to Hawaii, King of Zone, and San Antonio since 86. Okay. So we see a lot of Mexican Americans here with um, MS, and it's not just because we're in San Antonio. Yeah. Um, we think part of it is genetic, but we also think some of it's vitamin D deficiency. Okay. Sometimes smoking can actually trigger it as well. I had a patient yesterday who vaped a lot. Oh wow. And it didn't like the hookah stuff, and that yeah. that just accelerated things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So when we talk about medications, um, I just want you to know that the reason we're picking the pills or medicine we do is because when I look at your scans, mm -hmm. you had a lot of lesions, a lot of a lot of areas where there's been damage to the brain and the spinal cord. Okay. And so my goal as your physician is not just to think about how you're doing now, but how you do 10, 20, 30, 40 years down from yeah. now. Okay. okay. And I don't want you having problems walking. Right. I don't want you having bowel, bladder, sexual dysfunction problems. Yeah. And so even if you feel a little bit better now, it's about the long-term treatment of MS. True, thank you, yeah. And, and I don't want you using a walker, a cane, or a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah. But at some point we should show you your skins because it's there. you've got aggressive MS, in my opinion. Okay, okay. okay? So we want to pick the best medication for you. Understood. And um, there's a medicine called Tecfidera. Tecfidera, okay. okay? It's a pill. And it's a pill you take once, twice a day. Um, I think we have some handouts on how to minimize any potential side effects from it. Okay. But essentially what it does is it cuts down the inflammation so that your, your white blood cells are not going to the brain and spinal cord to cause damage. Okay. But we don't want it to uh, suppress your immune system, especially right now in the midst of COVID, right? right? So that requires blood work and everything in the future. Yeah. It's a pill that you take twice a day. And you do have to take it twice a day, otherwise it does not work. Okay. Okay, and we'll get you signed up with it now. Oh, okay. How do I know it's working for you? Well, we bring you back in clinic in about three months to see how you're doing, side effects. Okay. 
infections, that kind of thing, and then we start scanning you. And we'll be scanning you twice a year for a couple of years okay. because you're a newly diagnosed patient. Yes. And we want to make sure that, you know, you're taking the medicine and it's working. Yeah. Okay? okay. So I think we do a really good job of keeping a watch of our patients. Yeah. I just have to have, I guess, uh, belief or faith that the patient believes me <laughs> or saying, you know? Because yeah, yeah. it's, a, it's a big diagnosis. Yeah. Okay, but MS is not a death sentence. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you remember like Richard Pryor and that Puducello. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah. They all had MS, okay. um, but but their MS was really advanced because they did not have the advantage of starting on MS therapies. Yeah. MS therapies have only been around since '93. Okay. Okay. So you know, way after you were born yeah. is when they were available. Understood. So. It is not, it, okay. the goal is not only is your good, to keep a good quality of life, but also so that you don't really think you have MS, except for maybe you get some numbness still. Right, right. Okay. When it comes to my meds, I'm, I know it, uh, the third med I'm not taking because the bottle said do not refill it. So uh, the other two I'm taking, which is vitamin D3, okay. and then the, the other one's on my list. Okay. Would I be still ta taking them continuously now? Um, um, which other meds do you know? Oh, sure. Maybe they put you on steroids, prednisone. Um, those three right there. Oh, one yeah, of them, they did. Okay. One of them I'm not taking because the bottle said do not refill it. Yeah. So no, not these two. Yeah. Just this one, you're going to continue. Just that one, vitamin D. Yeah, okay. we'll get rid of the pantoprazole because okay. that's for acid reflux for okay. um, for the prednisone. The prednisone and the IV steroids you got are for the acute attacks. Okay. The tecfidera, the goal or the, the reason we do tecfidera in any of these MS meds yeah. is to reduce spots on the on your brain on of course. Okay. It's there to reduce relapses, so you don't we don't have to give you steroids. Yeah. Um, and then also it's to prevent you from having a gr more disability, like using a walker, or wheelchair, that kind of thing. Understood, okay. Okay, it doesn't undo symptoms, so it won't undo the numbness or anything that you have in your, in your legs. Okay. But it will, um, it will prevent you from needing more of the steroids. Okay. And if it doesn't, let's say you have another attack in a year, and then Tecfidera is over with and you can move on to something else. Okay. Okay. I was telling him all around my feet, yeah. both feet, um, it just feels like... It's a skin sock. It doesn't feel real. I know it's there. I can touch my feet, but what, what is it that I can do not to get rid of it, but to improve my feet not feeling that way, I guess. So, unfortunately, there's nothing that you can actively do. Okay. Um, uh, the, and that's what I mean. We don't want you to accumulate more and more like numbness or yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. The reason they have, they have the numbness because you have a spinal cord lesion that was actively enhancing or inflamed back in July. Okay. And it may go away, but if you're left with some residual numbness okay. after about a year, it's it's permanent. Okay. 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 Um, things you can do to make it better are to take your MS medication we prescribe, okay. avoid smoking. Yeah. Um, we also think things like exercise is really important. Yeah. Okay. okay. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not talking something bonkers. I'm talking like 30 minutes a day. Yeah. I, I have the stationary bike in the den Perfect. that I'm using. Perfect. Okay. Cool. That kind of stuff. And and I think.